friends, welcome back to the community, the perfect time to thrive community. Uh, this is Monday, uh, which is not Tuesday. Uh, and I usually speak about uh, uh, the commitment series on Tuesday, but uh, we're just a little bit behind the schedule. So that's why I'm having this live video now. So it's about part four, commitment series part four. But before we dive into, I really wonder if it it has it ever happened ever in your life when you were committed to something and you reached it, or you didn't make a commitment and you didn't reach it. Which one, which way was better for you? Well, it happened to me many times, so I guess we are in the same shoes. That I really felt much better when I made the commitment and I reached it. It was such a good feeling. So that's why I decided to make uh, this series and uh, today's, today's part, is part four, which is like achieving goals with a commitment. It's very important. So I, I have three major points for today. Let's see them in a row. First of all, uh, commitment is nothing more than a choice. Okay. When, when you have a choice and you make a commitment, you have a choice. You always have a choice to reach something, to make a commitment, especially if we are talking about a certain uh, goal. It's very important, especially at the end of the year and before the beginning of the new year, that you have a choice to make a commitment to reach one or more very specific goals. I would, I would highly suggest to set up a really good, great, achievable, maybe in a later future achievable goals, okay? So you have a choice to make a commitment to achieve a goal, okay? Number two, well, success relies on 100% commitment. It won't be easy, I'm telling you happened to me many times, but I made a commitment to reach something like a rank advancement or higher income, a new position, uh, maybe a bigger uh, venture or something. So when I made a commitment and after the, maybe the next day, two days after, a week after, a month after, I just realized there are so many obstacles on my way to reach my goal. And if I wasn't 100% committed, well, couldn't take uh, these obstacles. I couldn't go around because the obstacles were bigger than my goal. And But when you have 100% commitment, there are no more obstacles can stop you. There will be obstacles, but when you're committed, the commitment will be bigger than the obstacles. So you can go around, you can get over them. Okay, so that's number two, 100% commitment. Number three, visualizing, visualizing your goal. It's very important. When you visualize your goal, you, you see ahead a clear picture it's very important. When I set up a visual board, I really love the procedure. When I set it up, I see the pictures of the future goal. I just love the feeling. It takes a while to get used to it, to make the practice of it. It's very a shot. Use your imagination. The human brain together with our soul, with our heart, it can create such great things. So use your imagination, visualize your goal. If you can visualize it, you will reach it much higher percent. That's for sure. So these, these were the three tips for today. Commitment is nothing more than a choice. Number two, success relies on 100% commitment. Number three, Visualize your goal. It's extremely important. I would highly suggest to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it. I will be happy to answer them. And see you soon in Chapter 5. Cheers.